So you're thinking about moving to the North Shore, but you're not sure what it is and what it has to offer? Well, sit tight. In this video, we're going to show you everything about the North Shore, including the top eight reasons it's a great place to call home. Let's go. So before we get into the top eight reasons why you should live on the North Shore, let's discuss what it is and where it is. So the North Shore refers to the area of New Orleans on the north side of Lake Pontchartrain, from Slidell in the east all the way to Hammond Pontchartula in the west. But mostly when locals are talking about the North Shore, we're talking about cities north of the causeway, such as Madisonville, Mandeville, and Covington. So we get a lot of calls from people who are looking to relocate to the New Orleans area and a lot of locals on the South Shore that are looking to get out of the city. And they all want to know, why are so many people moving to the North Shore and what's so great about it? Let's get into the top eight reasons that the North Shore is a great place to live and raise a family. Number one, safety. Yeah, New Orleans is known for its rich history, vibrant culture, jazz, and delicious cuisine. But the city is facing a serious growing problem with crime. The city has been hit by a recent crime wave that has left residents and visitors alike feeling unsafe in the city. The surge in crime has brought the leadership of New Orleans under intense scrutiny, including the mayor, Latoya Cantrell, and the district attorney. Many long-term residents and businesses have been leaving New Orleans due to the rise in crime and poor leadership. This exodus has further exacerbated the underlying issues facing the city, including poverty, as well as the loss of cultural and economic vitality. Families and businesses are looking for a safer and more secure place to call home, and the North Shore offers just that. According to crime data from the Federal Bureau of Investigations, the North Shore has consistently had lower crime rates than New Orleans. The North Shore is renowned for its peaceful and gated communities, with safe and secure neighborhoods and top-notch, well-funded police and sheriff's departments. Residents feel like their property and loved ones are better protected from the dangers of crime. This peace of mind is especially important for families with children who want to live in a safe and secure environment. Number two, schools. Top-rated public and private schools. It's no secret that the North Shore of New Orleans is known for having some of the top-rated public schools in the entire state. It was one of the main factors for Maria and I when we were looking for a place to raise a family, and it is definitely one of the top reasons that many of our clients have chosen to relocate to the North Shore. St. Tammany Parish specifically has a strong education system with high-performing public schools and a number of private schools to choose from. Public schools such as Madisonville Elementary and Mandeville High, and private schools such as Lake Castle, North Lake Christian Academy, and Hannon High. There really is a variety of quality education options available. Because of this, families on the North Shore can feel confident that their children will receive an excellent education.
Number three, cost of living and housing costs. In terms of cost of living, St. Tammany Parish tends to be lower than New Orleans. According to data from Newville, the overall cost of living in St. Tammany Parish is about 10% lower than in New Orleans. This includes lower costs for groceries, utilities, and gas prices. When it comes to housing costs, the North Shore also tends to be more affordable than the South Shore. If you don't mind a commute across the lake, you're able to get a newer, larger home for your money compared to the same price point in, say, Lakeview, Uptown, or Metairie. The North Shore, and specifically the west side of St. Tammany in the Tangible Hoare Parish, has a lot of newer planned developments and gated subdivisions. Many with tons of amenities for families like walking trails, ponds, and playgrounds. While areas like Mandeville and Covington offer some of the most luxurious gated country club developments and waterfront communities in the state. With a variety of homes to choose from, including historic homes, modern waterfront properties, and new construction homes, you're sure to find the perfect place to call home. And with a strong real estate market, residents can feel confident that their investment will appreciate over time. Number four, amenities and natural beauty. Nature lovers will find plenty to love about the North Shore. The area is home to an abundance of parks, lakes, trails, and sports complexes, making it the perfect place for outdoor activities like hiking, bike riding, fishing, and boating. The Tammany Trace is a 31-mile paved trail that winds through St. Tammany, Paris. This former railway line has been transformed into a popular recreational area for jogging, biking, and skating. The trail offers stunning views of the surrounding natural cypress swamp and provides a peaceful escape from the bustling city life. It also passes through small towns like Abita Springs, providing visitors with the opportunity to stop and explore local shops, restaurants, and attractions. Fountain Blue State Park is a 2,800-acre park located on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. It offers a diverse array of recreational activities, including hiking, fishing, kayaking, and swimming. The park's main attraction is its pristine beach, which is surrounded by cypress trees and provides a beautiful setting for picnicking and sunbathing. The park also features beautiful live oak trees that are hundreds of years old several historic structures, a water pad, and playgrounds. In addition, Fountain Blue State Park offers camping facilities, cabins, and picnic pavilions, making it a popular destination for families and outdoor enthusiasts alike. The Chafalta River in Madisonville is a popular destination for boating and water sports enthusiasts. Whether you're looking to enjoy a relaxing day on the water, or an action-packed adventure of water skiing, wakeboarding, and tubing, the Chafalta River in Madisonville is the perfect place to be. With waterside restaurants like the Anchor and the Blind Tiger, and an exclusive sandy beach at the mouth of Lake Pontchartrain that is only accessible by boat, the Chafalta River has become one of the favorite weekend pastimes for families on the North Shore. The North Shore has so much to offer in terms of recreation that we can't squeeze it all into this overview. So stay tuned for some of our other videos like the top 10 things to do with kids on the North Shore. Number five, and my favorite, shopping in boutiques. 
When we get couples looking to relocate to the North Shore, one of the biggest questions we get asked by the wives is, What about the shopping? Well, one of the really great things about New Orleans North Shore is its great shopping. In addition to several of your big retail chain shopping centers, the North Shore has a huge variety of boutiques and specialty shops, such as Stella Dallas and Denim Bar, Hemline, Bora Bora, The Learning Express, Toy Store, and Niche. From fashion to home decor, boutique shops offer unique and carefully curated items, perfect for finding that special something to take home or the perfect gift. As for your big chain shopping centers, one of the great things about day-to-day -day shopping on the North Shore is the convenience of River Chase and Pinnacle. Both located on either sides of I-12 at the same exits. You have all your main stores like Target, Sam's, Best Buy, Home Goods, Petco, and my favorite, Marshalls. <laughs> no, seriously though, these two shopping centers are very centrally located and convenient to the entire North Shore and really have everything from shopping to dining to salon spas like John V. And we can't forget, if you live over in the Slidell area, the brand new Fremont Town Center anchored by Dillard's, the Exporting Goods, Kohl's, and Best Buy. It's a roughly 350-acre regional mixed-use development. The center includes approximately 640,000 square feet of retail and restaurant options, condos, and the huge fitness center at Sporta Fitness. Speaking of fitness, the North Shore is also home to an entire A-list of salons, spas, and fitness centers, like H2O, Tribe Organic Beauty Bar, Franco's, and Stone Creek. But we'll get into that in another video. We're here today at Hemline, one of my favorite stores on the North Shore. I want to introduce you to my friend Margaret, who also happens to be my neighbor and the general manager at Hemline. Come on in. Hey guys, we're here at Hemline, one of my favorite stores on the North Shore. I want to introduce you to my friend Margaret, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about Hemline. So Hemline was established in 1994 in the French Quarter. The owner of the franchise is Bridget holt Holson, and she's from Brazil, actually. So in 1994, when she came to America, she had a cart in the French Quarter and then just exploded into 31 locations. Hemline has two missions. One is to provide high-quality clothing to our customers and to create long-lasting relationships. So Margaret, can you tell us a little bit more about the labels that you carry? Yes, absolutely. So we are lucky enough to have territory on multiple popular lines, such as Dolce Vita, Mina Uppertured, Misa, Sophia. So we have something for everyone. I always wonder, how do you stay on top of current fashion trends? So we're able to do that by going to market. So markets occur in New York, Dallas, California. So when we go to market in the fall, we're picking out items for the spring. And when we go to market in the spring, we're picking out items for the fall. And also social media helps a lot too. See like what's trending on Instagram, what's trending on TikTok, what's trending on Facebook. So that really helps us as well. As far as customer experience goes, what sets you apart from other boutiques in the area? So since we are a franchise and we have like 31 locations, 
We're allowed to do special orders. And what a special order is, if you see something at the battery location, I can have it sent over here and vice versa. Um, what's also great is that we have a system called Client Book. And Client Book is a text-based system. So if I get a box of like a man up Richard, I know you love a man up Richard. I can text you that, hey Maria, uh, why don't you come in? I know you have a wedding coming up or a trip. So it's spelled to go to Miami a lot and find a great outfit for it. So we know Hemline started in the French Quarter. Can you tell us the main reason why the North Shore? Yeah, absolutely. So you know that the North Shore has such a great shopping scene and it has tons of great local boutiques. In the same shopping center, we share Salad Alice, Chico's, Sunglass Hut, uh, Manning Express. Oh yeah, exactly, duh. Um, and also we share the shopping center with uh, Pelican Athletic Club, which is huge here. Lots of foot traffic. Right. Exactly. And then also we're near the lakefront, we're near popular neighborhoods like Beauchene. So it's really one-stop shop for our customers who are in this area. So the North Shore has such a family field. I mean, hello, you're my neighbor and I know your style. Like I know when the minute you walk in the door and know what you're gonna want, for example, taste of Tammany's coming up, which you're going to. So like, I know you need an outfit for that. We're lucky enough to know all of our clientele. We get a certain box of inventory and in that I know you're gonna love. I'm gonna set that to the side and text you pictures if you like, you need to come in. So Margaret, I hear you're getting married. Yes. So we are actually getting married in Paris, which I know you know that, uh, which Paris, France is near and dear to my heart, my family's heart. Um, we're so excited. We're 50 days out, finally, and we're just ready. So Maria, I know you're here not just to interview me about Hemline. I just got in some new stuff yesterday, so I want to show you. Number six, restaurants. It's no secret that New Orleans cuisine is widely considered the best in the world. With its rich blend of flavors, including Spanish and French, Creole, Cajun, and African influences, the city's cuisine is a true reflection of its diverse cultural heritage, and the North Shore is no different. The North Shore is home to a thriving dining scene, with both casual and fine dining options to choose from. Whether you're looking for a quick bite or a fine dining experience, you'll find it on the North Shore. With great steakhouse offerings like Pardo's, Keith Young's, Gallagher's, and Desi Vegas. The Louisiana-inspired restaurants with fresh-caught seafood straight off the docks, like Chifuncta's and Rips on the Lake. To Asian-themed restaurants like Pho Kong, Via Kitchen, Little Tokyo, and Sawadee Thai, the North Shore has no shortage of restaurants to suit any craving.
We're here at Pardo's, one of our favorite restaurants on the North Shore. Let's go meet our friend Osmond Rodas. He's the owner. He's going to take us on a little tour. <laughs> so man 10 years already you got the new building here yeah i know y'all used to be across town tell us a little bit about how you found the building here and and how this come together 10 years ago we opened pardos yeah on highway 21 ever since we were at that location we always felt we needed to kind of get away from the strip mall right area and more of our own individual uh building yeah and um we did everything we did the addition where you're standing right now did not exist. Right. So we built the bar and the courtyard area. So those are the two things that we basically added to the building and everything else was basically mostly cosmetic and a lot of mechanical stuff was changed. Pardo's has always been kind of a very fresh, clean environment. Yeah. You know, with a right. little bit of sexiness involved into it. So we always wanted to kind of bring what we have a little bit over there, but kind of just Bump it up even, bump it up, bump it up even more. More high end, so, more top notch. I'll be happy really to show nice. you through the building, kind of give you a little tour. Absolutely, man. Let's do that. So before I show you the rest of the dining room, the yeah. building, the restaurant's actually named after my grandfather. And ironically, my grandfather was actually stationed here in the 1930s. He was part, he actually went to World War II. So when I moved to New Orleans, um, I remember calling him saying, hey, uh, he asked me, he's like, so where are you at? Because I travel quite a bit. Yeah. And I end up going to different states. He's like, I'm in New Orleans. He's like, oh, New Orleans, the Court Two Sisters, the Monteleone. I'm like, how do you know all this? Yeah, <laughs> how, how do you know this stuff? Right. Was it, well, that's where I was stationed to be trained with the Navy. I oh, was like, wow. I never knew. Okay. So I kind of wanted to play homage to, to him. To him. So John Pardo. And that's so, how Pardo's got its name. You yep. heard it here first. John Pardo. I grew up in a restaurant business. So my grandparents had three restaurants and a couple of bars. Um, so wherever I went, I always ended up working at a restaurant to kind of make ends meet. But I went to school in Utah, University of Utah. Okay. And uh, from there, I ended up in Santa Fe, New Mexico. All right. Um, in Santa Fe, New Mexico, I, I worked at a little mutual fund company, but I also always worked in the restaurant business. Bartended, uh, managed restaurants, waited tables, everything. And it was one of my fondest memory, one of the most beautiful places I've lived at, besides, obviously, Mandeville. So um, I, after Santa Fe, I actually moved to San Francisco and ended up working for Michael Mina at Aqua, which was one of the top yeah. 10 restaurants in the United States. In the country. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there is where, actually, I met Emeril Lagasse and <laughs> how I actually ended up over here. From there, I ended up working for Emeralds for about five years. Okay. And uh, through there, I was always had this attraction to the North Shore. Um, That's I what guess, I was going to ask you. What well, made you pick the North Shore, Osmond? Mean, why, well, why Mandeville? Why the I've North heard Shore? about it. Okay. You know, even though I've lived in big cities, I'm not a big city guy. Yeah. Um, I've always liked more of the smaller town feel. The way people are, I guess, is a little bit more laid back. Mm -hmm. um, Nice, chaotic, beautiful, extremely clean. I mean, yeah. the minute you come to the North Shore, that's one thing you just notice. Right. Everything is just well kept, manicure, almost to perfection. Right. So I, I started just getting the, oh wow, this is kind of cool feeling. I almost want to live up here. In 2001, I decided to build a house in Covington. Um, take us around a little more. Show so us I'm going to show you my pride and joy. This okay. is where uh, 
This is where I feel I probably spend too much money in this. <laughs> but um, I love wine. You know, okay. to me, vodka is vodka. They all pretty much taste the same. Tequila is the same as well. Right. There's some great ones out there. But wine to me is, it's just, it's all about character. You know, from where it comes from to the producer, it just dramatically changes. Even if it's the same exact grape, it could be completely different from one state or one country or one nation to another. In regards to wines, I mean, we have wines from Yugoslavia to Croatia to Chile to Israel, uh, French, of course, Spanish, Portugal. We have wine from almost everywhere and anywhere. People in Mandeville also, they have phenomenal taste. I think if you look around, just the way they take care of the environment, um, you get to see that everyone really wants things to be a little bit nicer than just typical. Everyone calls Mandeville and the North Shore a, a little bubble. And it truly is. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's one of those places where you're like, wow, I didn't know this existed. See the kitchen. Absolutely. Come on. The kitchen is the heart of a restaurant. Of course. I've been in the restaurant business for about 30 plus years. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. The kitchen is what is the hardest position to work in any restaurant. True. From the hours, from the environment, you know, these guys are cooking back there. We're comfortable here at 72, 74 degrees. They're at 90 plus degrees every single day. Right. You know? Yeah. So, um, can't take the heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get out the kitchen. Our kitchen's made up with truly phenomenal people. Tell us a little bit about the location, how it's been for you, and why you picked Mandeville and the North Shore. I've lived in Mandeville now for over 20 years. Wow. I always noticed the amount of growth that was happening. Mm -hmm. And Mandeville's always been, always been consistent with the growth. Sure. Um, so I knew that the business, the clientele was there to support the business, but also I live here. So it's, it was uh, more comfortable. You know, I'm five minutes away from the restaurant. Another reason was our kids. So, wow. you know, the schools makes a big, big difference for there us. There you have it. It's the number two thing on this list is schools on the North Shore. So I guess we're going to go in and, and yes. you're going to send us out some dishes and we're going to check out some of this cuisine and show our viewers, you know, what, what Pardo's is really about. The proof is in a pudding. Awesome. So, let's go. Let's go see. Number seven, location, location, location. Number seven, location. The North Shore of New Orleans is a convenient and accessible location with easy proximity to several of Louisiana's most popular destinations. 
Located just a short drive from the vibrant French Quarter of New Orleans, the North Shore provides a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of city life while still offering easy access to all that the city has to offer. The North Shore is also a short drive from the Mississippi Gulf Coast and Florida Panhandle, providing visitors with the opportunity to enjoy the region's stunning beaches, world-class casinos, and other outdoor activities. Meanwhile, Baton Rouge, the state capital, is just a short drive away, offering a wealth of cultural, historical, and recreational attractions. What I personally like about the North Shore is you really have three ways to get down to the South Shore, depending on what part of town you want to go to. Obviously, number one is the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. It's the longest continuous bridge over water in the world, being 24 miles in length, and it's a straight shot across the widest area of the lake. The causeway will put you over in the Mattery from Mandeville in about 15 minutes, but sometimes, depending on the time of day and weather conditions, fog advisories and such, you might be better off going through Slidell and taking the twin span into New Orleans East and St. Bernard. Another alternative, and one I like to use when I'm going to the airport or Kenner, is taking I-55 South, passing Manshack, and hitting the Bonnie Carey Spillway. So here's a little fun fact. The reason that a lot of the names of locations and places in Louisiana are so strange and hard to pronounce is that they're actually Native American names. Number eight, economy and jobs. If you're looking for a great place to work, the North Shore has got you covered there too. With its growing economy and low unemployment rate, the area is home to a number of excellent job opportunities. Plus, its location near the Gulf of Mexico means there are plenty of opportunities in the energy and oil industries. The North Shore really is a great place to live, work, and play. With its beautiful location, historic charm, excellent schools, boating and recreational options, diverse shopping and dining options, the North Shore is a place that has something for everyone. It's got a strong sense of community and a high quality of life. It's no wonder so many people choose to call New Orleans North Shore home. If you're considering a move to New Orleans North Shore, give us a call. Shoot us a text or even an email. Doesn't matter if you're moving in a week or in a month. Maria and I and our team, the Mellorine Group, would love to help you plan your next move. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit subscribe and check out some of our other videos as we will be taking a deeper dive into all of the things we touched on here in this overview with our picks for the top neighborhoods, schools, restaurants, salons, boutiques, and more, and even some of the cons and reasons you might not want to live here.